Hey guys, this is Mr. Black Gold, and thank you for coming back to my channel. This is a hump day Dollar Tree review and haul for you. I mean, ultra tiny, very small. But I do have some video of Dollar Tree as well as some pictures I'm going to add to the end of this video. So let me get started. I hope you enjoy. Um, there's no happy hour beverage for the day. I apologize. If anything, I need to drink more water. I have been forgetting at work to drink water and I'm in a work environment where a lot of people drink coffee and tea in a day and I've been sucked into that. Um, but we did start a water challenge this week or excuse me, for the next week at work and um, hopefully I will increase my water intake. So let me show you three items I have to review for you. This Betty Crocker Ultimate Cookie Mix. This is the double chocolate chunk. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Loved it. These chocolate chip cookies were so good. Um, I'm a type of person, when I bake, I watch my cookies. I check them to see exactly when they're getting golden brown. So I took these out as soon as they were starting to turn golden brown. And they were excellent. They tasted so good. It's nothing like a warm chocolate chip cookie. So I wish I could find this in the Dollar Tree again. But I haven't been seeing it since I purchased it. The next item for review is the Snaps Blueberry Muffin Bites. And only my oldest son tried these. And I got to try them. Um, I will say... I wasn't paying attention to my buzzer going off and I thought about it and ran down, but I had just probably missed it by a minute or so. So I don't know if I dried these out by leaving them in a minute too long, but um, nevertheless, we didn't like the taste of them. My son didn't like the way they tasted, neither did I. I don't even think for me it's worth trying to purchase them again and really watching how long I keep them in. But you tell me. If you tried them and you liked them, um, let me know your review. Maybe you didn't go a, a minute over on the baking time like I did. So that's my honest opinion about those. And then the Angry Bird Ice Pops. You get eight ice pops in this box. They come in the flavors of blue raspberry, cherry, lime, and banana. I got to try the banana, and I love the taste of the banana. I didn't hear any of the boys complain about any of the other tastes of um, them. I heard, like, one son, Avery, was like, he lime was his favorite. I know banana was my favorite, and they ate all of them. So everybody in the house must have loved them. And I shouldn't say banana was my favorite, but when I tried it, I liked it. Okay, so there's two items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um... I have not been going to the Dollar Tree every day. I can be honest, there's been times in my past where I've literally gone to the Dollar Tree almost every day. Maybe even a couple Dollar Trees in one day. That has not been my pattern recently. I have not done that at all. Matter of fact, I've been staying away from the Dollar Tree a lot. Um, but when I did go in there to pick up bread, because that is my go-to for the H&S Bakery Italian Bread, I found two books. So, I picked up this one. It's called The Best Worst President. And it says, What the Right Gets Wrong About Barack Obama. So, let me read the title again because I got a little confused the first time I, I read it. The Best Worst President. What the Right Gets Wrong About Barack Obama. And it's by Mark Hanna. Illustrations by Bob Stackey. And that's the way the book looks. That is the back of the book. And I think that down there it says the book was priced United States $23.99. Thought this would be a very interesting read. We will see. And the next book I picked up, which I love Nat King Cole. I loved Natalie Cole. Loved the music. So this book is titled Driving the King, a novel by Ravi, Ravi Howard or Ravi Howard. Um, but that is the cover of this book. And then here goes the back. And that's Ravi Howard or Ravi Howard, as I said. Um, and the, bar, the book was priced $15.99, just to show you again, US $15.99. So, hey, you guys, I haven't been in the Dollar Tree like I used to be. And I don't know what I'm missing out on. On, on Instagram, I really haven't seen anything completely new. So, you tell me. Um, what I'm missing. I'd love to hear it in the comments. I hope everyone has been enjoying their week. Y'all have an awesome Wednesday on purpose.
And so I see these bath bombs. It's a three pack by a company called Skin Tan, Lavender and Argon Oil, and Vanilla Cream. It says more than just a bath bomb. This company is from Sherman Oaks, California. Oh, it's a Bolero home decor. So check that out, guys. I know y'all probably already been snatching them up. So they have this Flavor Charm coffee creamer here. Both of these flavors are seven ounces. One is French vanilla, one is hazelnut. It's just, is this just a different, um, you know, outside appearance, a different container look? And then is this the old one they've always had? Um, you let me know. I, I used to buy a French vanilla one years ago from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I didn't like it because it already came sweetened. I mean, it was okay. It was okay to have. It already came sweetened. But I stopped buying it because I get like the book size container of coffee made from Sam's Club. And it doesn't have any sweetener. I haven't been putting sweetener in my coffee for a while. But I'm thinking this is probably the old one Dollar Tree has always had. Just a new look. So let me know, guys. But again, this is the French Vanilla Hazelnut 7 ounce of Flavor Charm Coffee Creamer. And it's artificially flavored. So this Dollar Tree shows the Infinity Scarves a little better for me. I saw them at another Dollar Tree and only saw these two. And I was wondering if there were any more. And I now see this design as well, which is very pretty. This is a blue, orange, and white. Hopefully it comes across that color too. I would say this is a black and white. And these are this is a beautiful floral color. But these infinity scarves are nice. You can also use them to wrap up your hair. And then they have all these different athletic socks, full cushion right here. I just came into the Dollar Tree. So this is a display right here. And you can get these different colors. It's a three pack of athletic socks, women's size five to nine. You have pink, green, or blue going around the ankle. These women's socks say size five to nine, but they are a longer sock. Remind you more of like the men's socks. And here go just the quarter socks and the women. These are three pairs. Now this is just two pairs. But these are three pairs. You can also get these low cut socks in black. And this is a three pack as well. So three pair of socks for a dollar is not bad at all. Dollar Tree and I've tried to skim the books to see if I see anything. I didn't look behind me. A lot of times they, this is where I'll find good coloring books. Um, and as well as just books that are out of the norm. They're still selling these. Now the Ortega recipe book I hadn't seen before. The Ortega recipe salsa. And I don't think I saw the Campbell's one dish recipes either. I think I may have seen the Quaker Oats recipes book. But they've got, it seems they've got more recipe books than they did before. Um, but some books that stood out to me that I'll speak on is this dazzling duct tape designs it says fashionable accessories adorable decor and many more creative crafts you make at home by tamara boykins isn't that cute little slippers with well excuse me not slippers with sandals with duct tape design and the handbag now this originally priced was a 14 dollars 95 book and some of the things you can do with duct tape bracelets headbands sandals throw pillows party banners belt purse lunch bags and flower pens so, again, I thought this was a truly interesting book. Oh, yeah, definitely. Dress up your lanyard with duct tape. So, how cool is that? So, that was one book that caught my eye. Another book that caught my eye is How to Eat Like a Hot Chick. Eat What You Love, Love How You Feel, Jody Lipper and Serena Vincent. And, um... Yeah, it, just, it says chocolate cake for breakfast and a pound of spinach for dinner. They had a section in here that said how to wine. It just seemed like a really cute book. How to eat like a hot chick at dinner. That was chapter five. Um, soda pop, soda pop, and whatever the hell you call it. Or whatever the hell you call it. Like, it's just really cute things in here. Midnight munchies. Soup it up. So, again, thought that was a cute book. And the price on this is $13.95. And 
And because I have kids, my eyes always go to the children's book. And here goes Quinny and Hopper, which I've seen in the Dollar Tree before. Other titles of this um, type of book or this, uh, what do you call it? This title of Quinny and Hopper, I've seen other ones. And this one is Partners in Slime. Um, so this is written by Adriana Brad Shannon, illustrated by Charles Santoso. It is a fiction, assorted. Let's see how much they were charging for this. It was originally a $15.99 book. There go the authors. All right. So, really cute, the author and the illustrator. And then this as well, this is Guts and Glory, The American Civil War. It says 100% Not Boring by Ben Thompson. And that was the whole gist of this. It says, in most history books, the people are boring, the places are boring, and the events are boring. And this is for $17 U.S. It says, this isn't most history books. So it may be quite interesting, a very interesting way for your children to learn about the American Civil War. Ben Thompson looks like a pretty young guy. So some illustrations in here too. Yep. It was, it's a nice thick book, I can say that. Probably definitely a good summer read for your kids to finish out the summer with. And there goes just some of the Dollar Tree books I saw in here today.